lot of things that can happen on the Sabbath day. Could you wait till tomorrow? Something can't wait. And we explained it like your house is on fire. You just going to sit there and let it wait till tomorrow. We're going to go and right now and try to get this thing put out. Such as someone is very ill. Could it wait? This is what Jesus explained today in our lesson. Could we wait? What did the Pharisee do? Did the Pharisee go ahead on and send a letter down the corner that don't let nobody know and teach him how to wait? See, we remember last week Jesus punched him with a word, a couple words. He said, Raven, wolf. Then he said, Wait. And following today, that Jesus is pointing out a lot of things that they did different than Jesus this morning in our lesson. And as a matter of fact, this lesson, we are talking about the chief priest. We're talking about the chief, excuse me, the chief of the Pharisees. Well, he is one of the 72 that was in there. But this is one of the head of Today in the lesson, we want to put in that term, the head man, one of the head. And so now, anybody that they had to our introduction to it. If not, we have three outlines in our lesson this morning. This should be quick and simple, but it's a loaded time. It's an impact lesson this morning. So Someone to read that first outline and said, Jesus sees to me from the first to the second verse. And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day, that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. Thank you, sister. Mm -hmm. I need to take a moment here to give us some information on this guy here. A lot of times we read through our lesson and we don't get to fully understand what we're dealing with. We need to know what we're really actually dealing with. This and this is a sec second of the four lessons from the human. Love complete. Law falls short. The law falls short. And the last two from the Gospel according to Luke. In our lesson today, we find Jesus again at a house of a leader of the Pharisee. But this time, Jesus also healed on the Sabbath. This religious culture and tradition is considered work, which also goes against the normally biblical tradition of the Pharisee. As you read and study this, are you guilty of working on the Sabbath? That's a question that the lesson asks this morning. How and have you ever missed an opportunity in ministry on the Sabbath because of the religious principles? Chapter 18, verse 1 begins with as some as they arrived in an area. The disciple came to Jesus with a question. We find Jesus again entering the house of a little Pharisee. But this time, he is the one of the chief Pharisee. Or you may call him, say, the leader and the ruler of the Pharisee. In this, in any case, he is someone who is great authority. But now, as soon as I'm going to the doctor. You ain't gave God no credit at all. <laughs> Doctor said, I can't do this, can't do that. I done used the best I could. What you gonna do now? Well, go call on some of the warrior. Why you can't do it? We're supposed to be ready. Hallelujah. We'll call on sister so and so, call on brother so and so. I know they get a prayer for them. We're supposed to give God the credit already. Uh, get down the doctor said, I can't find nothing wrong. God already took care of the problem. Amen. Already done. Anybody got else, anything to say on that? Yeah, it's this party. So we got people with sick person, but it's noted. Someone next give us the next outline. Jesus respond to the need. And Where Jesus answering, spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? 
and they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus was, uh, like last week, Jesus was, uh, was sitting in that the moment in the great dream. And a lot of times that Jesus already knew what was going on. Jesus saw the need. This is, this is important that me be. And now let me tell you this. Let's look at the picture here. The man had, had the drops. The drops is called the name of Edelman's. That's a pronouncement right. It's a new name called E.D. 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 That's what they call it. The drop is called E.D. That's the name. So you look at the definition, it's going to give you the name E.D. And they call it the sweating and all these different types of names. Now, but the thing is, now know it's Jesus. Jesus already was an authority. But Jesus didn't jump out of character because, you no, know, sometimes people get a position we get to be here. It's just me now. I get out there, I stand in front of him because I know what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm Jesus. I'm standing out there. I see this man in need. Jesus didn't do this. Jesus, before Jesus healed this man, Jesus went to the law. Jesus asked him a question. Is it lawful for me to heal? And this man is in need on the Sabbath day. He held a tongue. By the holding a tongue, Jesus healed him with some harsh things. There are some things that I may not, he don't want to do it right now. And see, at the same token, that reading in my notes here, and reading that sometimes they won't hospitalize you tomorrow. He can hold out. Could you take your bill to hold out and save you a year? No. This is where, you know, my mind went back to the time that people in the, in the biblical days, like not the day, the days day when, when I come up and I see some people didn't have some things. They, they prayed. They called for someone to come pray for them. They had prayer on the phone. And this is where the healing process would come in. But this is the thing here. Jesus asked them a question. They kept the tongue. Or did you know? <laughs> did you know? They ain't know what see Jesus healed. See, this is one thing about it. He had, he's a lawman. You got everything packed around you, but Jesus come right there in between with a question. This is why I want to look at the word rabbi. Rabbi. Rabbi means teacher. But see, this is an ordinary teacher. They stand before me. Mm -hmm. This is a different one. I all and Jesus knew how to bring things to the table. He saw they kept their tongue. And Jesus went on to the table. Healed the man and went on his way. In our introduction, this couldn't wait. In our introduction, could that burn the house put away? Mm -hmm. Could the burn the house put away? You got some people that need to be saved in the house. Couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. This man couldn't wait. Jesus, Jesus sitting at the table. Now let's say I have a problem on the inside. I'm hurting on the inside. And Jesus sitting at the table. Jesus saw that on me. Jesus got up and Jesus, he all along. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. That's why he can he can Pharisees with them questions. He asked him. He kept quiet. And Jesus told him last week, you're a raging wound. The other way you're greedy. It's all about sick. And everything. This is why we see in that we see. Came on down the line about different other things that are going on. And that, like I said, keep in mind that they bought Jesus and everything you need. And this man will be the people he. Hallelujah to him. The man got relief. You heal, you need to be And these are the things that we can heal that God do it for you. We need to testify and tell what the Lord has done for you. Right. Don't be ashamed. Right. Don't be ashamed. Right. He do it for one, he can do it for the other. So, anyone got anything to say on each of us? This is why we supposed to, we see here Jesus went to the Lord. There are ways we're supposed to do it. There are protocols. You don't just jump like that. You go through the protocol. And when the protocol don't work, this is why then, you know, you go to, you do what you need to do. But they, they kept their peace. So Jesus didn't succumb to that. So we're not supposed to succumb to this. In other words, in order to do it, you don't have to do it all. You don't have to go curse 
person that knocked yeah. that off. You don't have to do him. Just keep your mouth shut. A lot of times I keep my mouth shut, but I'm going to go ahead on what I need to do. Because you don't have to do it when he's showing the figure. So Jesus, you know, he had a thought. He had power. But that's the deal. When he went to right to do things as supposed to be done, it didn't happen. So he didn't worry about it. He didn't fuss about it. He went on with the heels of the slave. He went on with So the people, then they knew, like I said, they, they, they kept in peace because they didn't want to show themselves up. Show himself up. So like I said, Jesus, you know, that was way off for to show ourselves up. But we know what's right. Just keep your peace. You don't have to call no rubbish. But do what you're supposed to do. And let it know. But Jesus got you. He's going to take care of you in this situation. Oh, when there's somebody need help, you can't say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to feel tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow they did. Tomorrow they did. You do it now. You do it now. Even if, that's why I said, no, give me your when, they, when they're hungry or something, you want to give them the word, give them the word. They need the word, the word. But right now, they need you to do their physical needs. Yeah. And then you bring the word. So like I said, you do things, these are in order. Because Jesus right. knows how but He has killed them. He used us, but he used us on the power of his name. You shall keep the 
Sabbath because it is only for you. Everyone who performs profanes, it shall be put to death. However, does any work on it, their soul shall be cut off from amongst the people. The sixth day shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. Solomon rest, Solomon rest, holy to the Lord. Healing was the passage, sometimes, some things, healing the passage, some things that was considered work on the Sabbath. It was no, no, no. But then, verses 4 tells us that Jesus healed the man and let him go. Check this out. There was no therapy, there was no medication to take for the, for the couple of days. For a couple of days. The Lord had done what they could not do. Neither did they have the discern to do so because it was it would have embarrassed them. So over Jesus didn't do no therapy. Jesus didn't get no medication. Jesus just said, he healed the man, he went on his way. And the thing that we're looking for, some work to be done. This to be done. Mm -hmm. Bring that and this. And see, when you get sick, you go to the hospital, they're going to do this and do that. At the end, you still with one of your head hurt and head with your lead. <laughs> you got to believe it. And we're going to send you to the next hospital. And they're going to do the same thing. They're going to believe it. And you're still ain't healed. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus didn't use no effort at all. But Jesus healed the man. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. This is what they were upset about. They was embarrassed. Yeah. So the thing worked that, like I said, you can build the walls up, but Jesus comes right in between mm -hmm. and brings something right out. I'm going to be right in front of you. I sure didn't see it. No, yeah. it's not meant for you to see it. Anyone else? Only, only two verses. If not, we're going to cover our last two verses. Jesus question to the leader. Verses 5 through 6. So. And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have a donkey or an ox fallen into a pit and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him again to these things. Mm -hmm. Self explanatory. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, the donkey and the ox. Now you know they're they're down. Mm -hmm. They down in the hole. Now you gonna let them stay down in that pit down there? Nah, nah. And you'll be tomorrow and they are here. They may have a leg, glitched all kind of way. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow you ain't gonna be able to get that get them out of there. Right. You might get on a little donkey. Right. So you know, put off for today for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and have a bit. Mm -hmm. That is that is the way you should do. Now, you know, sometimes people turn that side eye and turn the head, I can see it. It's okay, God see your heart too. Mm -hmm. Then I get out, I didn't know yes you did. So these are some of the things that uh, that we need to take initiative on and do it properly. Anyone got anything to add to this? this uh, no, I'm gonna say what yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was thinking about what you said about the on that same with the council. You know uh, this may not be the last one. You know, Nick Bain was on that same music council person. It was it, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it? Uh, I hadn't I asserted it. I just been through the lesson so many times. Yes, sir. But I knew Nick Bain was, he, he came back to Jesus. He said, no man knew he was like, he, he knew that. We on the same music council. We're supposed to be so much smart. Man. We know everything. <laughs> but we can't do this here stuff that you know. You know, you got to be coming from somewhere else. Yeah. We know that Alice teaches come from God. Yeah. He was that way when that Jesus knew. Okay, how smart we are to what we know, what we did, for all our was for it, don't mean that we're going to be here. Yes. And that's what we all know today. Same thing everybody been saying all the time. I don't care how much we can do, how much we can say, how much anybody can say no. <coughs> God say yes. 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 <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. So, you know, when you brought that up, I read that last night. I read the whole book about that part about Nicodemus by night. Yeah. Right. He came to Jesus by night. 
And uh, the, the, the third chapter, the first verse, you know, it started with Nicodemus. He called Jesus a rabbi. Rabbi. So that man yeah. inquisitive about a rabbi. Mm -hmm. So that was looking up a rabbi. Oh, yeah. And see, so Jesus had all the answers. Mm -hmm. Rabbi. But he was, like you said, the same he was counsel. So he wanted to know something, too. Yeah. But he went to Jesus. Yeah. See, yeah. all of them. And then he looked at the grid and looked up rabbi. The rabbi, he's a he know he, he, they put Jesus on up there. And so they be like, how does this man, you know, if you go back and study some of this stuff, that Jesus didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. And they were still trying to put him on the spot. <laughs> yeah, trying to try. He didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. Where well, he went? <laughs> oh, how did he know all of this? Mm -hmm. And make us look like this. Yeah. You know, this is the creator. And he was a master teacher. Yeah. Priest. So Nicodemus had the question, uh-uh, I need to go somebody I know who can answer this. Yes. So he went by night. He went by night. Jesus, what is this? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's all right to go ask questions. Yeah. Then we won't find answers. So it is it in that the brother already. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Anyone else have anything to say? Yes, ma'am.
that brought you here. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, Jesus is telling us that he is the way that we're supposed to follow his way. Whatever Jesus did, we're supposed to go that same way. Yes. Now, we follow that way. Guess what I've come to find out? If we follow the way of Jesus, we're going to follow the way of truth. When we follow the way of truth, which is God's word, that truth is what enlightens us to our shortcoming. Mm -hmm. this, this truth is what makes us repent and turn from our way to turn to the yeah. ways of the Lord. Amen. You see, we got to turn our back on something in order to turn our front to something. Yeah. Are y'all getting that? Yes. So if I turn my back on God, that means that I'm turning my front to the Word. That's right. If I turn my front to God, I'm going to turn my back to the Word. But there's no way you're going to stand sideways. I haven't uh -huh. seen anybody travel that way yet. How many cars you see go up the road sideways? <laughs> None. They either go on straight forward or they put it in reverse and go straight back. But you're not going to go up the road. You see, that car going sideways. But so many times we want to put one foot over here and say, I'm going this way with the law. We'll put one foot over here and say, but I love the world. I'm going with it too. God said that then we establish strategy. And he called it lukewarm. He says that we are lukewarm. He said, I will spew you out of my mouth. Do you understand what that means? A lukewarm person make God sick. Make sick. Let's not make God sick. Let's make God cry. At the end of our life, we want to say, well done, don't you? Well, if you want to say, well done, you're going to have to do it well.
and with humble heart, Lord God. Lord God, most of all, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our heart, Lord. Lord, we know that there is nothing so good that we have done, Lord, but your grace and mercy has allowed us another chance, Lord God. Another chance, Lord God, to get on your narrow road to worship, Lord God. Lord God, I just want to thank you, Lord God. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for waking me up this morning, Lord God, and, and starting me on my day, Lord God. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for giving me the courage, Lord God, and the, and the strength, Lord God, and the power, Lord God, to kneel before your people, Lord God, and, and, and to pray unto you, Lord God. Lord God, I know that I'm not perfect, Lord God, but I'm striving every day, Lord God. Lord God, I want you to bless everyone, Lord God, that is at the hearing of my weeping voice, Lord God. Lord God, I want you to be with this pastor today, Lord God. Lord God, let him bring us a message, Lord God. Let our fleshly him decrease, Lord God, and heavenly you increase with the side of him, Lord God. Lord God, let him bring us a message, Lord God, that can help us, Lord God. Let his message cut us, Lord God, and let it come at the same time, Lord God. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for true love about the church, Lord God. Thank you for that pastor, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for 16 years, Lord God, that you've been Lord God. Lord God, I, I, I feel special, Lord God, Lord God, not only, Lord God, it's just another church, Lord God, but I feel that I'm part of the church, Lord God. Lord God, I just want to say thank you, Lord God. And y'all, for a reason, man, we need to pray, Lord God. Amen. Amen.
Okay, so now Reverend Cruz is going to let us know who we, well, actually, it looks like a selection right here. And so we need a selection before we get to the scripture and prayer. So do we have anybody that want to do a solo? Or do we have a choir that got something in their spirit? Got something oh, okay. in their spirit. Because if not, we know somebody. We know somebody. You know somebody right first? No? Okay. So, I guess I'll see. Lord, if you don't do it, it just 
For they watch out for your soul as those who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. Obey those who rule over you. And be submissive. That sounds like appreciating my pastor. And listen to him. Because he's going to go to God on my behalf. Amen. Now, as while we're standing, we'll go ahead and do our safe prayer. Most holy, gracious, and righteous Father, Lord, we thank you for this 16th appreciation, God, for the leaders of this house, God. Lord, we thank you for pouring your spirit out on us today. Lord, we thank you for my pastor that will break the bread of life, God. And Lord, I thank you that we will be full and it will be meat for our souls. God, help us to be more like Jesus and let our meat be to do the will of him that have sent us, God. And let us finish the course, God. Let us do the work in hand, God, and be who you have called us to be. Lord, help us to be instruments full of praise, God. Inhabit us, God. Inhabit our praise. Come to life in our praise, God. Lord, we thank you for who you are, God, and what you're doing in this hour, God. And whatever you're doing, God, don't do it without us, God. Lord, keep pushing us and helping us to press forth the mark of the prize of the higher calling of God in Christ Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing, and thank you, God, that we will continue to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in your mighty, matchless name, Jesus, we pray. We pray. Amen. 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 I turn it back over. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Tamika Cruz, for that wonderful selection. I love like this song. Thank you, Lord. We can't thank God enough, y'all. That's right. He done did so. We just can't thank him enough. We had him in a thousand tongues. We couldn't praise him enough. But I thank you for that, because we can all thank God. The 16th appreciation, I thank God. You know, we, we're still here. Thank you. Thank you. And so now, we're going to have the welcome the announcements, and the occasion by none other than my husband, Brother Elijah Thomas III. Amen. Bye. 
about that old compass call and the number somewhere flow around. We got access pen and access code from government joint. Amen. And, and, and for our men and ministry, we have that every first Saturday of the month. They go down on our men in. All men, you're welcome to come drop by and check us out sometime. At 10 o'clock a.m. And also on the third uh, Saturday of the month, we have our women ministry. Now, the women have it going on, but they, but they be on the conference call. Now, they go down on the conference call, and at the end of the women, join. I guarantee you're going to get a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to welcome you, man, true love. And for this occasion, I've got the 16th annual appreciation. And we got Pastor Burke going to have the business of him. I hope the word don't hit you. You're in the right place in What's the world. If Reverend Bird's word don't hit you, I guarantee you Reverend Crew and Reverend Banks will be your word, they're going to split you. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? It's <laughs> good to see everybody out here. I just want to thank you and welcome you for coming. Amen. Amen.
sometimes sheds a tear. It's not the weakness of, of a man, but when the Holy Spirit gets a hold to you, it does some things to you. Yeah, It'll right. catch on fire. If you have been touched by God, yeah. and you know some of the things that you haven't done, that you shall cut God out, but you show the word what you want to do, and showing God how big and bad that you want to do, when you find out where you're supposed to be in the word, and how sharp that you can, and you need to make a hurry up to try to do what he said, the, the time that left on you in your life, and you don't know how soon that the Lord will call you in. The message, the, the, the scripture just read, the one that's over you, he honor you. I honor you, brother pastor. And I thank you for the things you have downloaded them to me, but the Holy Spirit to you, to put to me. The word that I want to, the song that I want to put in this song, this word, is an old seven shaped song. Yeah, it been in my spirit for a minute. The Lord saw it at the time for it to bring it out. And it's going to be right. I'm busy every day as I travel all the way to the city beyond the sky. Okay. And there is not a doubt because time is running out and it's hard as time is.
just so close to bring things in order and suggest. We do things decent in order. And he teaches us about decent in order. And the father and the pastor always reminds about it's your call, it's your news. And you got to see that in Jesus. That they always want to dish to the side of that old person, that this, that name that they give you. That only the same Jesus you want to deal to. That the same Jesus died for all. That's the one that that's what we talk about. You can't get enough of it. I can't either. So I'll leave you with this song here. Brother, he can uh up your whole example. Serving God, oh, it would pay off after a Serving God, oh, it would pay off after a
Sister First Lady, because we have somebody about to talk on Sister First Lady. So as a pastor's wife, we have Sister Tawanda Forte. Come on up there.
that thing up. And me and my sister from my north, we can't get enough. All right. And I'm going to go Tuesday night, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, we can't get enough. We, we love y'all. So just continue, continue to do what you do.
get you. I want to have a family. I want to be your Lord rather than thank you so much. Okay. Okay. I love you. And I just wish you know what I'm saying. I can just show you more than I was at home. I asked you. You know, stay on top. So that, oh, I love you. You know, I love you. I got to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you get it right there. <laughs> there you go. I'm just showing you how I go. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, do we have any? Uh, okay, Reverend Baines. Reverend Baines, Mr. Baines. I love that man. Reverend Baines. <laughs> Yeah. 
I called him and, and Brother Cruz said, well, see, he know how to stay out of trouble, too, so they don't want to talk to him. And why I said, hey, you ain't did never talking to someone how to give to a wife. Right. <laughs> you got to learn. Amen. 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 Amen.
God is the testimony that God gives us. Hallelujah. And what I try to teach my children is what my parents have taught me. A lot of times we didn't know what the words mean, our Father, who art in heaven. Mm -hmm. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I didn't know a lot of times what those words meant until I grew up and got on my own and I didn't have nobody to depend on but Jesus. What's that, man? So that's why I appreciate that's what y'all have seen in this. All the songs on Holy Ghost headquarters, people don't know nothing about church like that no more. People don't know about churches. You can hear people singing and clapping and praising God before you get them. Now people so. I got my nice clothes on. I just come for the people to see me. And they, it ain't about God anymore. And I appreciate you keeping that pure. You kept everything pure. It's not about the music. It's about the message. And you never gave up on us. You never gave up on our community. You never gave up on trying to bridge the gap. And that's what's necessary. Those are the necessary things that I don't want you to never lose sight of that. Because God got something waiting on you that we can't never give you. I don't have a heaven or hell to put you in, but God got What's something that, to do. And no matter what people do here, you keep your eyes on Christ. Because that's what we headed to. We ain't building treasures here for the moths and the things thieves to take away. We build it on heaven. And that's what I appreciate. That's what I want to be the foundation of what we do here, what we teach our kids. A lot of the people that are my age, we all went to church. Mm. We, we might have been doing other things too, but mm. where we at now? We come back. Y'all see history right here. Yeah. Him and his daddy came up here and see it. Nowadays, with men taking their children everywhere else, but in the house of the Lord. Yeah, true, nah. They teach them everything else. How to kill, steal, and destroy. But they teach them about God, what's going to be there. Who, who they're going to really be able to call on when mama can't get to the phone. Yeah. When my reception now, and I can't get to my daddy. My daddy has gave me the footwork to get to what I need to be, and that's Jesus, and that's what I appreciate. That's what I appreciate. The 15 years I am to be a old that he's been doing this. That's what I appreciate. I appreciate you being you no matter what. No matter what you ever went through, you never gave up, and you never questioned God. And that's what helped me in my wife's time now. That's what we got to do. We ain't going to say mm -mm. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you standing behind me. You know, a lot of times now, we don't want to stand behind people. We ain't even got enough patience. Move out of the way. Get but y'all don't talk to patience. Press the bit. Y'all been together over 50 years. People don't talk about that anymore. What's that, man? <laughs> Marriage ain't easy. No. Following God ain't easy. No. But you have to make a choice. Yeah. And I appreciate you standing on that. And that's what I stand on every day. Jesus. Thank you. Part 
and says, Amen. Yeah. And my pastor. But I'm not going to introduce him. Amen. They told me, 
when preaching, he preached the same sermon. Every sermon, he come and asked. The preacher said, you can go in and love the gospel as I have to preach. He said, well, yes, I know a lot of folks, but y'all had to hear that question when I was preaching. <laughs> 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 So he had to hear the first way, don't hear me nothing to another. <laughs> if I can see the results from the first one, then I'm going to
não tem esquerda nem do ar, a esquerda não tem esquerda.
the sick room. Yeah. And I heard somebody call the lawyer and the court. Amen. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Some of them call them a rose of shout. Yes, Some of them call them a lily of the valley. Then I heard another call them a bright and holy star. Amen. But uh, I don't know what you call them, but uh, I know his name.